You know, sometimes the smarter way is the harder way to go, right? But it's the right way. And training your dog is a process that takes a lot of time, patience, and repetition. In today's Tech Notes, we take a look at a high-tech tool that has to be used with great caution. Now you make her sit and He's an internationally known dog sit. trainer. Now tell her stay. stay. And you walk around her again. Good girl. Thing. Alex Rothaker knows what it takes to connect with yourself. dogs. Here's Sailor, his poodle, walking upstairs inverted and rolling on a ball farther than you've ever seen before. Alex and his dog Sweepy were on The Tonight Show. There's no way that dog can jump through that hoop. Okay, Sweepy, you ready? Okay, now you're going to watch how she'll go right through this hoop. It can't okay. be done. Ready? Real nice and easy. And sweet. Alex Rothaker and his wife Paula train police dogs from many local departments. Today, they're working with my hound, Daisy. There's no quick way to train dogs. It's all about building communication between the owner and the animal. With so many new dogs out there during the pandemic, some people look for a shortcut to rein in their dog. The e-collar or shock collar is an inexpensive electronic training collar that's a powerful tool, but shouldn't be your first choice. When we talk about electronic collars, we're talking about something that's much more potent than all the collars put together. It's happening from nowhere. So it's very important when you're using a, a shock collar that our dog is fully trained on and off leash. And the reason for being that is the dog understands what the person wants. I go, Daisy? Sit. Every time a dog sits or does good, you praise the heck out of the dog. Can you overpraise the dog? Never. When you're 50 feet away from your dog, it's hard to communicate why you're correcting your dog. You have to have all your training done before you even think about adding the e-collar to it. So before you spend 40 bucks on a shock collar, train with your dog at a place like Tops, or take a class at your local park district. You never know what your dog may be capable of. Well, Topps Kennel Complex is in Gray's Lake. The Rothaker's dogs have set world records, and so has Alex Rothaker in weightlifting.